Got a letter this morning from the NHS. Well, the outside clinic. You can get an eye test at home. Yeah, they will. Oh, you have favours say they do, don't they? Yeah, this is from outside clinic home healthcare. Oh, right. So I checked if I was eligible. Can you visit? Do you do you want to? Yeah, do you have difficulty getting to the? You know the high street, and I put. Yeah. yeah well, basically, I don't want to go there anyway. <laughs> yeah. I hate it going to opticians. It's about you lot. I don't mind. It's full of. You're just a piece of. You just look like a lump of. It's like a cattle market. Oh no, no, I don't like that. that. You go in spec savers, and it's like dirty, dirty, dirty. Push you from one position to the next position. It's just I ain't having none of that. Oh, right. We I don't get away with it. And, but I've got a um, complex prescription. And I always feel that when I go to the normal optician, it's really, I'm not getting the, the attention that I should get. Yeah. Because every time I get a pair, I come back when they deliver, you know, check them out. And every time, <laughs> every time I say, oh, they're all right. I can't read that. <laughs> I can't see. I look at a poster yeah. down the end of the corridor and so say, I can't even read that, but I can with these on, like yeah. the old are you, ones. Are you talking about spec savers? Yeah. Yeah, you said spec savers. That's the ones that I've been using lately. Yeah. Well, I haven't been for years. I don't know anybody who's had a lot of success with them, actually. Well, I used to go to a private one round the corner, but... I couldn't afford the prices of the frames anyway. That's the trouble, isn't it? So I had to go. I had to get them to give me the prescription, and then go around the spec savers to get it. Everybody keeps freezing. Can you hear me? Oh. Can you Hello? hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, the screen kept freezing, and I, I keep missing bits. You can always. Oh, okay. Just rejoin. That might Should help. Let me Sometimes do that. You might get a better connection. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll just go and come back. It, it's free to start to join. <laughs> yeah. You know, you don't have to wait. I mean. Morning. Morning. <laughs> cold, cold one this morning. Yeah. Oh, just to bear. Gosh, mm. the ice on the car this morning. Again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't looked at mine, so <laughs> you might be lucky. It might have gone by nice or something. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> we could do with a few um, higher temperatures. Yeah, we could. But, uh, I think it's going to happen just yet. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> can you all hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Can. I had to log out and come back in again. Oh, right. Was... right. Yeah. Is your um just it's because they're they're building the new spaceport over your way, so the internet connections <laughs> jiggery. <laughs> the new mission mission control for the um the pool um spaced launch. Oh mm. uh, okay, I'll look out for that. <laughs> yeah, if you see something sparkly flying past your window, don't worry. <laughs> it's, yeah. the latest, it's the latest Starlink moonshot from Pool. <laughs> it's all right. I've had Mel up here chat, and we were trying to book these. That's what I was saying. These home visit eye care. I thought oh, that'd be a good idea. Mm. <laughs> in, the end, in the end, I needed a, a computer algorithm to get through the. Because like, first it was just me to have an eye test done, then Mel, hey Mel, you could have you could you could do yours, you know, blah, 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 blah. yeah. So an eye test, I never get part way through. Says, oh, I could have an ear and test as well. All oh, right, and then it's James could have his done at the same time. Oh, right. Then she asked him, oh, I don't know. why can't we go to the ice cream? Oh, well, you ain't coming then. 
Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> By now, I'm looking. I forgot where I was. Who <laughs> says hearing test? Yes, no. Oh, I know. Go away. I'll, I'll come back later and do it. It's too early. For this. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Quite fun though. Mm. So I got a little job to do, task to do. I said, "Give us your birthdays." I wrote the, the birthdays <laughs> down because otherwise I would forget. I don't know what they are. I had mail on the twenty sixth of. Now oh, here's Carol. June, yeah. but it should have been July. I said, "What are you whinging about? You shouldn't be complaining. I've just made you a month early. You know, younger." <laughs> 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 you know, please morning, morning. Morning. morning, morning, everybody. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, fine. <laughs> oh, it's cold out there this morning, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I just said that, yeah. <laughs> well, there ain't exactly a bundle of laughs in here. <laughs> <laughs> Once the heating goes off at sort of mm. nine o'clock. Oh, gosh. It's a wrap-up job. Yeah. <laughs> when are we going to meet up? Carol, it's down to you. Oh, Meet right. Up, uh, where should we go? Was it Haskins, I said, wasn't it? Yeah. There seems to be a mutual, uh, not bad. And if it's busy inside, we can always walk around and look at the sheds. <laughs> <laughs> or the summer houses because they always have a one. <laughs> yeah, perhaps we can have our coffee in the summer house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, fancy this one. Can I, this one. Can I interrupt a minute? Why are you talking about that? Chris and I went to the Angel the other day and I was wondering whether it'd be better to go there because at least you can park your car and at least you can get a table and they serve you as well. Would yeah. You, Is that to... just coffee or do you have to have yeah, lunch? Yeah, just for coffee. Yeah, oh, right, right. I don't, I don't know, know where it is. Coffees. Um, it's from Haskins. Yeah. Yeah. Haskins. yeah, it's just up from there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, it's just burned down. I don't know what Chris thinks. She was there, so yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, a big place, right. isn't it? They, we could, yeah. you know, give a table if anybody wanted to. I was yeah, thinking parking more than anything. And Haskins mm. is really busy usually, yeah, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I was just trying yeah, to think how I get there. Um, yeah, so I go round instead of turning left to go into Haskins, I you just carry straight. on. Yeah, the churches on the corner. Yeah, yeah. And head towards Ferndale. Yeah, that's it. On the right, right, yeah. Yeah. Big pub, you can't miss it. It'll be easy if you're going to invite John, won't it? Because he he lives quite near there, I think. Yeah, Terry was interested, wasn't he? Yeah, I've got Terry. Can someone pick Stephen up? Where Stephen lives? Sylvan, Sylvan Way? Oh, Where's is that? that? Oh, is that is that in Paul near Sylvan School? Parkstone, is it? Mm. Sylvan Road. I think Sylvan Sylvan, Sylvan Road Parkstone. is Parkstone. Yeah. Parkstone. Well, we'll get over that. Yeah. I might, I might have to go that way. Yeah. Phone and well, table. If, if he's, I thought you knew where somebody lived. No. No, I don't think so. Well, I'll give I him the address. Know. We'll see. I'll have a chat with him. I mean, it's not... Yeah, I mean, we've got to decide on a date that suits everybody, which is going to be the biggest. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? Well... And let's just say a Tuesday. Yeah. 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 And we're all free then. Yeah. Yeah. Do it Tuesday morning, same as we do this. Instead yeah. of this, we'll just take a time out. Yeah. 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 Because in the day we'll be doing art anyway in a funny yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, paintbrush at home. But I just <laughs> um yeah. <laughs> what about I don't know. What, what time did the pub was the pub open though? No idea. Some of them oh. eat breakfast nowadays, don't they? How oh, do they? My grandson mm. was there, but he's moved now. <laughs> so, mm. I don't know. Is it, what's it called? The Angel? The Angel. Yeah. Is it Ferndown then? Yeah. 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 Not Hetton. I... 
the Angel Ferndown, the Angel Inn, Ferndown Country Pub and Restaurant. Yeah. Mm. We could book a table for 12 or something. Yeah. However many, yeah. Yeah, except for, that's all right, I'm looking now. Well, there's seven of us here. Yeah, and then there's Mel, that would be nine. Oh, Mel's that's coming, eight. that's nice. Stephen, nine. John, Jerry. 10. See what Terry. I mean? It gets quite... It'd be surprising and if Brian wanted to come or... It's surprising how... Um... We just booked the whole pub out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can bring your guitar. We can have oh, a, yeah. a jolly up. <laughs> we can have a little sing-along. <laughs> I can't think of anywhere else, can you? What's the time? It says, on, on, I'm here, looking at it now, it says it opens in 21 minutes, so that means it opens at 11. Okay. Oh, that's good. Well done. How many well, adults are in the party? They have parties, but it only goes up to eight. Well, you can push two well, tables together. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they. I'm. I'm sure they're not going to be that busy for coffee. Morning, eight to eleven thirty. So you could do a, a, an early one. Yeah. Then you're out of their way, aren't you, by lunch? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, we can all stay for lunch if we want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's an option. True. Mm. Well, well, and they have got outside bits. It's nice. Old yet, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say, unless you're thinking of going in June. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that was the second one. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh. best thing this I'm worried about the venue at the moment. What's the word day? So what's the twenty first? What? Oh, oh. Hang on, I've I've got the wrong thing in there. Yeah, well, you got 21st of March, 14th of March. Well, I think most of us are free on any Tuesday normally, aren't we? So yeah. it's, up to, exactly. it's up to the ones that don't normally join us. When they yeah, uh, I can't, we can't do that. We just got, a, it's a fait accompli. Yeah. This is what's happening. Yeah, yeah. otherwise it gets complicated, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It can't yeah. please everybody, can no, you? No. So just go for a date and then see if yeah. everybody's well, I'll say 21st of March. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. Might even, I might even speak to Verity at the front of the church or something. Right. On the Tuesday. Oh. Because they, they're doing lunches there, aren't they? I don't know what days they yeah. do that. I can't remember now. I think parking will be a problem if we do that. They've redone the park, the car park. Oh, yeah. It's all been yeah. resurfaced and I think it's been marked out again now. You can yeah. always park in um, Argyle Glen, Road. Glen Watsit Road. That's oh, Glen, two hours. Glen, not Glen. Argyle, is it? Yeah. Is it? Two hours remember. then. Yeah, yeah, which would cover well, that, I'll, wouldn't it? I'll have a chat with Verity anyway. It was in my, my um, thing my mind and I'll chat to what about her. the room we used to have for art you not go down there yeah that, but the front of the that church means... is quite nice as well because that's got a little um i'll have to i'll talk to verity yeah they have, um, i don't know if you've seen it the paul secret garden it's called and there's a guy called Jim Gardner, and he's working there, and he's doing a lot of the gardening and making all planted. You know, he's doing a lot of work outside, and he puts on it. Cause I'm on, I've gone on the group, um, and What's he posts nearly every day with a menu of what he's eaten and what have you. And oh, at the church. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's quite interesting because you get a better idea of what's going on from him than anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> They go, they've made the, the courtyard bit he's planting all that up and you know which was outside of our windows yeah oh, wow. they, oh, right. he's, he's doing the poly tunnels and that that's right yeah and in the kids play area he's been tidying it all up and 
planted. Oh, okay. Yeah, the car park looks nice, but it's always full up. I can never get in there when I go over to Tai Chi. I, sometimes some of the sneak, well, we do the Tai Chi in the hall, don't we? So mm. um, it's all well, it's busy at half past three anyway when I go over. <coughs> well, we can always have a chat and our meet up. Well, the uh -oh. garden centre over near us is always quite nice, isn't it? Stuart's. Oh, God, I'll never get over garden, there. I <laughs> <laughs> we have to get... far, I can't cope with all those roads. <laughs> I, am safe. I can't imagine Carol coming all that way. No. Mm. <laughs> time well, I get there, it'll be time to come back again. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, if I, we, if we settle on the 21st, that gives us a, a little bit yeah. of a little bit of thought because I'm a great and it happens all the, a lot um don't don't be hasty something comes up, Come up. yeah somebody yeah. says something or somebody emails or says something on Facebook you think oh <laughs> look at it yeah well that well that would do you know just, I'm always that always happens mm. I just I have a chat with him up there. See what he says. That, yeah, we need a, you know, nice venue, mate. You know, see what. I mean, even the, the um. Because there's two URCs. There's the URC at Ferndown that the vicar comes from. That's quite nice over there, which is further down that road. Interesting. I don't know. Mm. I'll get a gazebo. <laughs> Park it on the roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. If you could do it, get it somewhere along that stretch, it would be much better. I thought I was right. going to do the table up and do it in my back garden. <laughs> but it's cold. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit yeah right. We'll, we'll work on the 21st anyway. Okay. Yeah. It's only in the 21st. Leave it up to you. Yeah. We'll Some will turn up. See if the others are free and then see how many you're dealing with. Uh, I haven't heard from John. He hasn't rung me up for a, for a while. Right. But he was we'll poorly. Anyway, so the angel will be closer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh dear. I know he was poorly, wasn't he? He'd been in Austin. Yeah, broke it. his ankle he broke, I think it was. Oh. Nightmare. Mm. <coughs> well um Yeah. And I haven't got to worry about Stephen because he he'll be nagging me big time. Because <laughs> he was on the phone and um <coughs> It was last week, I think, or it might have been, yeah, I think it was early last week. And um, I sort of said, oh, I think we're we're going to have a get together for a coffee or something. Said, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 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 mom, mom, they're getting together for a coffee. <laughs> if, uh, if Stephen wants to go, if he's able to go, I can pick him up. What's I know it's... It's going back in the opposite direction, but it's not a problem. Better than that, you can get a number, get a bus. Or something. Mm, bit tricky, I don't know, but I don't know. He's not, he's not a complete um, doodah. He, he, he gets his way oh, around. I, know. I haven't seen him around for ages, but I used to see him, you know, quite often when I'm driving around. He used to be waiting for a bus or... Yeah, I'll just tell him. Well, I'll just give him a, an address and a time, and he'll just sort it out. Yeah, his mum might come. You never know. Well, that's true. Uh, that's why I said we're might, getting more and more. <laughs> that's what I said. It might be easier if I just find a hall somewhere. Mm. Well, I could. I could book the stamp it. Uh, they just uh, sent her down the road, but it's like safe. It's a bit awkward for Carol and one thing. It is Christchurch isn't the easiest thing to manipulate. No. Mm. Fair away from Blandford too. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, they got roadworks all around you. Mm. We'll, um, anyway, we'll sort some out. We've penciled <laughs> in the date now. Yeah. Yes, we have saved the date. <laughs> That's some super. How did everyone get on last week? Are those pictures? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one I did, well, the one I sent in was acrylic, the watercolor. I got in a mess with that. I just turned the paper over, put acrylic on the on the on the paper. So, really, yeah. Oh, kept that quiet. <laughs> no, I didn't. I so I said to you, and I sent it. Did you? That's, yeah. Oh. That's good. That's lovely. Yeah. Really feel the movement in that one. Yeah, I'm not very good with boats. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I like it. Is that? that? And that... is it? Is that yours, then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's lovely. I, I didn't like the trees in the background, so I just zoomed in and made it closer. Hmm. Well, that's the work well. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. I was quite pleased with the boat because I don't do boats. Mm. <laughs> the lake is in Germany, I think. Oh, is it? We uh, thought it might be. That's uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. We've been there, I think. Oh. <laughs> oh. I know it, it looks like Brownsea <laughs> Island, but it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not oh. quite brown. See, that's nice. This is Carol's. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. Is it? That was yeah. I did that with the acrylic <laughs> oh, in right. the end. Good. It's nice and crisp. Mm, the boat's a bit not so good, really. But... Foliage is. Um... Mm. Yeah, it's much easier with acrylics. The foliage. You can almost <laughs> sense someone stood behind that bush with a fishing rod or something. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I did think about it and I thought, oh, I was running out of time. <laughs> it's a huge painting. <laughs> <laughs> Carol's board's starting to look worse than mine. Oh, I know I can't get all the brown paper off. I end up with all these chunky bits on it. Well, don't do what I did. What wet it? <laughs> put it in the bath. All the the border go funny, won't it? Well, not really. But I I remember, I think it's last year or the year before. I put it put one like that in the bath. Of course, yeah, all the paper comes off, but it goes it all roll. It's everywhere. Oh. It, it floats off all over, and there's all little bits. Oh, oh no! And, it, and you let the water out, and it goes in the oh. Don't oh <laughs> <laughs> I feel with weeks later, I was finding little bits of paper stuck on the bath somewhere or other. Oh. <laughs> but in a bucket or something outside, it's probably. Yeah, good. yeah. I'll wait till the summer gets here. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wonderful trees. Wow. Mm. That was Chrissy, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. It's on paper, Chris, isn't it? Yeah. Can't you tell? <laughs> well, it needs, just needs scratching, doesn't it? Stick mm. it down. Yeah, I mean, I do, I do stick it down, but it's um, I don't know. No, I mean, even now, you, yeah. You know, I, when I do it, I, I just sort of stuck it all down, and then I sort of go over with a hair dryer to help. But anyway, can you wear that? Board. Is that just ordinary? What is that for? Sort of Acrylic paint. That's acrylic mm. paper. Yeah. All oh, right. Do you still have to wet yeah. that then and stretch it? Um. Well, I just because I just take a sheet out of the pad. Mm. I just I tape it to the board, and then just paint it. But I wow. don't stretch it the same way as watercolor. You can't do that. I've never had any success making any difference. I think I'm probably I'm probably just too impatient. When I finish, I just take a photo of it, send it to Dave, and that's it. 
and then probably the next day all those ruckles have gone out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very I, clever I, effect, I, actually. I thought you did. I thought they were shadow, you know, yeah, like yeah. the sun yeah. coming yeah. on, didn't yeah. realise they were all wintry bits. They looked really good. <laughs> yeah. But with that one, I, I had a bit of trouble with the water. Um, mm. Putting pastel, just dragging the pastel across it. Mm. So that made that, that's why it's in hollows, <laughs> where the paper was a bit ruckled. Mm. But yeah, I was quite pleased with that one. Those trees were a bit of a nightmare, but I took mm. ages doing them. Yeah. <laughs> they worked yeah. well. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I quite it, enjoyed them. When it first came across, I thought, oh, she's worked hard on that. That was my first reaction, which I always that's like to stick with. Mm. Mm. That's yeah, that's, that's nice. nice. You see his signature in the corner. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> um. You chicken mate on the trees are smuggled. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so. Mm. Everyone does it different, don't they? Mm -hmm. Sorry, but the, the boat turned round while I was painting it. <laughs> <laughs> it's called tacking, isn't it? Or something? <laughs> it was actually because if you look, the jibs turned inside out. He was trying to get through the wind, so I let him get mm. through and then I painted him when he was going the other way. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tells the story though, doesn't it? Which is yeah, good. I like the little flag on the top. Yeah, I know it's that. It's like a Union Jack at first. Burgi. Ah, Burgi, that's right. Like it. Your boat's going the other way, but apart from that. Mm. Mm. Joyce did a, a, a fast and frenzied one. I oh. did. Mm. Disaster. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I, I, first of all, I haven't lifted a paintbrush since the start of December, so that wasn't a good start. And I also <laughs> ordered um, one of those chalk pens that uh, Dave uses, and I hadn't opened it until yesterday when I was trying to finish this off, and it turns out it was pale blue. It wasn't. Fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, it shouldn't laugh. Big pardon. <laughs> no, please laugh because I thought. How did you do that, you silly woman? But I obviously did. And then I found mm. a, a tube of gouache, couldn't get the top off. And <laughs> at that point, I thought, do you know, I've got a meeting in 10 minutes and I've got to go. <laughs> so I thought I better not leave it. <laughs> so, I mean, top, you just put it under the tap. I, I didn't really um, think about that. I just was trying to you know, unscrew the wretched thing and uh, also got a tea towel out. That didn't work. I was like, I'll blow this for a bunch of soldiers. <laughs> oh. I used to put it under the hot I'm towel. I'm surprised you had time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Even so, the, the foliage, there's still little passages in there that you can mm. see yeah. mm. where the water mm. runs and all the rest mm. of it. Oh, it looks nice now it's framed up. Ooh. Okay. <coughs> oh, Ornament landscape. Ooh. She's brave. Mm. That must be pulling mm. the process of it. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, the boat's nice. Yeah. Uh, the trees. Yeah, mm. good. Yeah. They're all I don't good, like aren't they? Much, but <laughs> <laughs> I know they're they are a bugbear, mm. aren't they? Mm. I know this might be. I don't like painting green. I never have done. No, no, I don't either. <laughs> uh, Steer away from green. <laughs> I do it on purpose, just so that everyone yeah. gets. Oh. Practice. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was the one that started it all off. I quite like the foliage on that. Yeah, it's good. Did you change anything or did you just leave it though? No, I've just left it certainly as it is. Oh. I, I, I do that every week. I've, I've got a, a wooden easel close to the bed, the head end. It's in front of the wardrobe. So I just put them on there and let and stew over the week and see how it feels you know wait because <laughs> first thing you see when you wake up in the morning 
oh, or go to bed and it don't have change because obviously the light's different when you go to bed and you sort of read a book and you look oh, god didn't realize i painted that <laughs> or, <laughs> you know the tones and shadows and that all change mm. but yeah i quite like that um you can always tell i think this week i didn't or last week so i've had two good weeks i think um this week's going to be a bit of a mess <laughs> now he tells us yeah we've got no chance yeah no. yeah i mean i was going to say i, I was uh, yesterday i think i better apologize in advance for this hmm. mm -hmm. i wish it was but, paul Kelly, though and not wings yeah. Well, <laughs> lots I, of building. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, I sketched it with on the. Did take a while. Mm. That looks good on its own, doesn't it? When yeah. I was oh, well, I was thinking about it, and I thought I was doing the sketch, and as I'm doing it, I'm thinking, oh, "This is bloody boring." Oh, what you're really <laughs> what you're really, a bit out. <laughs> well, what you really you could have a smaller bit of paper and just fit a little bit of it on. <laughs> what I think what, it would be nice if you could do it with oils. Oh yeah. And just don't even sketch anything. Just sort of yeah. have a bit of fun with it and just blush it around and that, you know which so you didn't so it's not so Chrissy usually says paint by numbers but it's not yeah. so much of that it's you get more freedom because the, the options are there you can see you know if that was all wheels you can just look at the shapes yeah. and could you do that with the acrylic yeah you might have a go at that then <laughs> yeah. I mean just think of the if you've got a an atomizer, it'd be handy so that you can keep it all moist as you're using it. Yeah. You know, so you you paint. I don't know, usually start with the top down, don't you? So you, you start yeah. looking at all the darks, all the dark mid tones, and same as we do with the portraits. You know, put them in, and then start filling in with some whites and that. By then, you would have had some shadow colors as well. To blend in, just use the brush, use a stiff brush and dab it around. <laughs> oh, think of, I mean, if you get doing it that way, think of shapes. Like a, mm. You know, don't see a boat, see a, see the shape of the blue, right? I'll paint that shape. I always mm. got a little bit of blue up there, always some windows. Oh, yeah, and add a few white. Oh, gosh, there's a little bit of pinky stuff here, a little orange. <laughs> Balls, we'll put them on and um, make the rest up mm. and just get your thin brush at the end and you can put some of those little railings in or something the reflections are going to be fiddly I reckon I don't think the original picture has even got more in and I thought oh my god mm. I'll be, a, be a painting that for months I don't want to so I'm not sure if my thoughts are just, I was going to say gay abandon, but, <laughs> but don't get too bogged down with it. Just um, do it, try and do it uh, fast, a little bit quicker. <laughs> well, we'll see. Let's, um, shall we have a go? I'll have a go anyway, see what happens. In my marvelous sketch. Just change my front. I can find it. Where are you? Oh, give me a home. <laughs> I've been putting Weymouth off for years. I've been watching, is it? Brian Barnes, Brian Barnes, at, um, all those years ago when I first went to Wimble Market, he was sort of, that's what he did, Paul 
Custom size. Weymouth. Accentuated drawings. Uh, paintings, you know, really. Whipped it. And uh, I never, even back then, I thought I ain't going to. It was a thing. I wouldn't paint um, the same as another artist anyway. Not with, if you're trying to sell pictures at a venue. It was always like, you know, so I get a zoom. I think I need to twist it around again. Uh, camera. Well, I haven't touched anything. Nothing could change, but it always does, doesn't it? All right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Somebody said they went to the dentist and had a tough out for the first time, probably late twenties or whatever. And I didn't, and she said, I didn't get a badge. <laughs> so, I, so I painted that and said, yeah, here's your badge. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to put a black mark in the tip. No, don't do it. Look like it's got no teeth on it. That was a badge. I thought that was because, right. That was yesterday. Which one am I looking at? Gone. I got on my desk a little bit of um, Horizon Blue. Oh, Cerulean would do this similar job. Flat brush, any old flat brush. Clean water I haven't got. So normal. Just try and make the roof line a bit damp. <laughs> Orlean's going out to lunch today. I am. Oh, where are you going? Somewhere nice. Come on. Going to Court Mullen, the Dorset soldier. All right. Someone gets but a free. It's my birthday, but it's not my birthday because oh. I was born on the 29th of February. Which oh, is no. and there is one this year. So. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so oh. I sometimes I have it today, sometimes I have it tomorrow. So sometimes oh. I have both. <laughs> well, happy on birthday. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> going with Jackie, are you? No, no, I'm going with my auntie. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's a strange one, though, and it? You forget about that. <clears throat> Could be worse. Could be Christmas Day. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good thing is that because you only have one every four years, I'm a lot younger than what uh, what I look. <laughs> <laughs> Just go for a simple sky, I think. While it's damp, I'll just dab it. This paper is the um, two rivers meet um, that I never know if it's if it's um, a rough finish or a not finish. I can't tell them, but it is handy for skies, isn't it? Because you can just let it dry. If you get a dry bit, just leave it. Mm. It's so absorbent, though. It's absolutely incredible. So there's a something wrong with it there. It's got like a divot. Let's see if I can squish it away. Mm. But that's just, just a straightforward one color sky. How about that? If he's everybody says, Oh, I'm not very good at skies, 
we'll take the colour out of it, or the mixing, just have one colour, you can't go wrong, can you? Well, obviously, mm -hmm. can. <laughs> ish. That's that. Job done. I've got a palette. Well, I've got little bits of flesh tone there where I was painting that doodle. That lady's good. Uh, bit of, see where I can put this somewhere. Ah! Got bits of paper flying everywhere. What I was going to do, first off, I'm always saying it, is mix up. A funny colour for windows. Just want to um, just mix, clean this off a bit because I've got a funny feeling I used a bit of white gouache. You don't need a lot, get it into your palette and it affects, oops affects all the colours, any colour you put on it afterwards tends to get a sort of milky whiteness to it. So burnt sienna or flesh and a little bit of blue. See if I can get a, a window tone. There you go, something like that. That'll do. Sort of a bluey thing. Window. Think, think glass. And dab it in. This is always, it's just one of the things I've always, I've done over the years. Just start off, put the flipping windows in because They have an awful habit of getting painted over and being left-handed isn't always the easiest. How many windows in them? Four, six. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not... Like I said I wanted to paint it not in a precise way, just as a I want to do it quick. So the only way to do that is to don't dither and doodle with the brush. Sort of paint what you see. Amazing how quick you can build it'll build up though. I think the um the end game might be a bit of a bit of goulash. A bit of white to put some white lines in. The boat's got some railings. The um the windows have got some little white lines as well, haven't they? more used with the pencil I just squish I just put a little bit of shade in a little squiggy squiggly line hopefully it'll dry off roof well I've got that what the heck was that bit of dog hair <laughs> hmm interesting I've, I've mixed up this little sort of grey tone, so I might as well make use of it. Paint by numbers, here I come. <laughs> Clean water on a brush. Start with that roof there. It's got little grey bits in it. But I don't want it in the foreground, do we? So I want it really loose. It's building here, maybe it's... It's blocking in. Carol, right. what we're doing. 
<laughs> We're blocking in colour. Oh, forgot. See, I forgot windows. Didn't know these. These were here. Well, look at that. There's a lot going on, isn't there? But we can build it up fairly quickly. It's one of the. Can you imagine doing it al fresco? We're sitting there on a bench. Mm. On a in a little chair with all the people milling milling past. Oh, what's he doing? Oh. And then you get then you always get a few that are wannabe artists or you get the old one that's a really becomes a comp, uh, a people watching exercise then to sort of say. But he's an artist, he knows what he's talking about by the questions and the way they look. Yeah. You sort of start start to think, mm, he knows he knows the score, she knows the score. But you persevere. The only place I did it, I can recall doing it, was the um oh on the on Christchurch Key. There's the building in the corner, isn't there? The really old sort of mill. The old mill, <laughs> maybe that's what they call it. <laughs> in the corner. I remember sitting on the side of the quay with the swans, paint, uh, sketching that. And somebody coming along, sort of nodding and, hmm, yeah. Hold well on. I'm walking on. I think, yeah, well, they obviously know what this... What I'm up to. Mind if it's key, I used to sit down there, but there's more going on there. It's not so straightforward. I'm going to put a line of that colour along here. That's a shadow, isn't it? So I've only mixed up. One colour, really. No, two colours. Burnt sienna and blue to give me a sort of greyish tone. And the horizon blue for the sky. Ooh, that was strong. Add a little bit of... If you block it in fairly quickly, like I said, with some sort of gay abandon. You come back later and put in stronger colours where the roof meets the sky and it's a little bit... We have to differentiate One roof, one roof from another a little bit because the light's going to be from the tiles will be the same but the light won't well it will be slightly oh that's proper watercolor that is it's just sitting there this the fun one this one here we can mix that on the paper i think make it damp the big, this big roof. My water is not that clean, but paint it with. Well, the plan was clean water, but there's some residue in the brush. Clean water. Drop a bit of burnt sienna on, and then drop a bit of blue on the top of that. So as I'm left-handed, go from right to left, come down, burnt sienna, wash my brush off, Could try a little bit of turquoise, I don't think it'll go the grey that, that I just got, 
tends to work better with the ordinary blue. There you go. It's just color, isn't it? Just think of, just drop it in while it's, you need to be fairly quick because you get it in there while it's damp because you want it to mix on the paper, sort of blend itself. Usually darker at the middle, isn't it? Where it meets that other part, prominence. Yeah, true. If I prefer it, if it was a little bit of that brain, uh, burnt sienna there, because it'll add to the the warmth of the picture. And I did use a ruler, Anne. <laughs> Definitely. Well, reefs, they're straight lines, aren't they? <laughs> they're bricks. <laughs> if you get any... Um, sort of little white areas, leave them. You've still got that initial mix that of um, greyish roofy tone right from the word go I can quite easily just drop a few bits of that in let it because it's still wet the water should it's a, there's a sort of always a shadowy bit there it? it has to be because that's where it's um It sticks out, doesn't it? So this, the light's going to form a shadow. And you usually get some along the tops. No was that a, Yeah, that's enough. I nearly finished. I've been early lunch. Paint by numbers, I'm afraid. But this juncture but that's the nature of the, the beast flesh is a nice color you can drop that in anywhere i've got it on my palette here the flesh tone they're both next to each other the flesh tone and the sand any combination of those you can pop it anywhere, even on the roof. Because it's stone, isn't it? Even on this bit, underneath where there's a few. Well, now it's dried back a bit. This one up the top. I'll add a bit of burnt umber. <gasps> Too much blue. A little bit of burnt umber and blue. Because it's spilt into the um, sky a bit. But there you go. I um got my head around that bit yet because it's a it's a garden shed in in the roof in the sky. That's what it looks like to me. Hopefully that'll fade back. Need a rigger. Nah, can't use a rigger already. It's that's the Terrible thing to do. Rosemary evergreen rigger. Well, it's just that that bit there needs to spread. That's it. Time to go home. <laughs> well, it's a matter of. Well, I think the point of showing here is that the. Um, you don't need a lot of colours. Burnt sienna, a little bit of that flesh tone, or the st or the June tone. And drop that in. Mix it in. Oh, surprising how strong some of these colours are. Clean water. Just let them squish down. 
Why not direct me windows? Grab it with a tissue. Try and get some variations. Blocking in this roof here. Do it slightly different, I think. This time I'm gonna use the flesh. Green water first. Well, so I, when I've done it in the past, Muddiford Key and the, some of the buildings, I was always conscious to make the um, the roofs slightly different tones. This is just that flesh tone which I'm using as a base colour. I'm not even looking at the... No, I've got that original grey tint. Squish it in. Mixing paint on the paper is always great fun. It gives you a nice... Gives it a nice sense of of randomness, which you you know I'm always on about that. Especially if you're doing filling in blocks of colour like this using pencil lines as a guide helps a lot. Just same principle though. The top of the roof has always got that little coping piles on, or whatever they're called. Ridge tiles. Ridge tiles, that's it. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Just I'll let you know I am paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that's the, the basis of it, isn't it? It's just a matter of. It gets exciting and the exciting bits in a minute, isn't it, when you start messing about with the boats and the water. Just the same. I think I do this with similar. Local Portland stone. So what they made it with. <laughs> Yeah, that's the size. It's a matter of making it moist and let the water do some work. Ding, ding. Yeah, okay. And action. <laughs> so it's like. Painting away, and, you, and you're making decisions all the time, and it's like, right, you, you sort of pull back, stop, look at it, and think, yeah, right, and it's just like, actually, put, put a line of colour on quick, and see what happens. Bring water, drizzle it down. But the flesh tone is quite prominent, quite um, prevalent today for me. Right. Want a little bit of, yeah. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a bit more blue. At least I um, remember the windows. Mm -hmm. But that bit comes later with the um, 
the rigger. I've got a nice colour here, a fleshy pinky colour. I think in the, um, well, I'm pretty sure actually, the um, St. Peter's, St. Petersburg palette, it's called Mocha. I discovered it yesterday. I was using it, I thought, cool, that's a sort of a nice, um, when you're doing portraits, you get that sort of redness of the face. So I did it on, on that lady yesterday. That's what brought it out. Quite a nice colour. Bring it on. Oh, I want to do. Dabba dabba do, Barney. And we've got the, the shadow mix that we started right from the start, so we can add that in. Come on. Do, 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 do. All the colours are there. Just a matter of whacking them in there. One place I did. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to leave. Yeah, well, I am. I'm going to use. This is. It's amazing how. A particular paint picture ends up using the same sort of few colours all over it. So I'm just, I don't know what that is there. I'm thinking it's a seawall or a, it's a wall to stop people jumping on, falling in the river. But using a particular colour sort of follows that would actually go through that. Not even my. And this simple burnt sienna. It's how we balance the net. Go there. There. There, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, yeah. a bit more there. Just a, a dab of colour and grab some of that cobalt blue or whatever blue you want. And while it's damp, push it across. I'll do it there as well. And there. Try and get a sort of um, A wally feel. There's some boxes there or something going on. Just drop it over here and there. Building up on it. Hopefully some more of that. Damp grey. And. Hmm. Lovely jubbly. Use the same brush here all the time anyway. A bit more of that flesh tone there. Yeah, I'm on a roll now. I think I'm going to speed up. And there's an area, isn't there, underneath the... I don't know what that is. Walkway, bridgey type thing. It's here. It's painting in a sort of negative. Careful, because I've drawn a couple of little boats now. Yeah? I don't want to lose them. Raw sienna, grab a bit of blue, take the edge off, Just check it, put that in. See if we get a nice 
Ah bah oui. Quand même. I've just drawn to sketch two little boats there, so. <laughs> turquoise. Going in with turquoise. Cobalt turquoise. It's unusual. Well, obviously it's a specific. Ooh. Maybe a bit too strong. <laughs> so like, ooh, oh, that's not too bad. Definitely a watercolour. <laughs> Could have used a bit of the um, blue from the sky. It's a rise in blue. I don't use it very often. Cerulean blue. A fair option. The trouble is it well, it's really expensive. So I don't want to waste it. Even though it's stuck on the board. But we use it on it. Let that dry first. So I don't want to want it, the shadow to be different. So if I let that dry, I'll think about it slightly different. The reflection of the shadow, the reflection, the reflection. And while we're at it. Next stage, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get that damp, that brush, and make the bottom all damp. Don't mind if it spills a bit, bleeds down. This paper is really absorbent, so I'm just going to give it a good scrubbing. You might use the um, full brush, the mop, in colours. I think I want to get a bit more pinky in that. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. It's a good idea, but I don't want. I don't mind if it's. If it spreads, I decided that um, thinking about it earlier, if it does, bleed, I don't care because it's it's water. This is the fun bit. <laughs> Should all be going. Well, this is the bit that we, that we will, you know, it's the bit where I haven't put any water on there. I'm still blocking in effectively, though. It was a hard, um, well, not hard, but it was. A difficult sketch, interest, well, difficult, interesting, call it what you like, because the, um, you put, you sketch the top bit, top half, and then you have to sketch the bottom half, mm. identical to the top half. <laughs> it was like, mm, this isn't, you could almost have turned it upside down, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Find some windows, window cards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put all this in, and then I let it go, dry it off with a hairdryer, 
and then put a, a wash of some watery colour over the top. I just want a bit more burnt sienna, really. Just drop in there, I think. And add a little bit of that red to it. I think, woohoo! That's, that's the colour, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Touch that red and <laughs> everything changes. Just wanted to warm it up. Destroy. Oh, I've done it again. Right. We're in. Just gonna. Oh, it's a sweet little watercolour. I'm just going to put some blobs of red here at the moment because I don't want to lose sight of those um, boys. I think they're boys, aren't they? The drummer in my band sent me a picture of a boy in the, you know, a water, in a harbour, harbour boy. Yesterday, he sent me a photograph of it, equipped it, and it's, um, on the bottom of it, it had the letters S-U-E. He said, took me a while to get it. No, son, he's, he clicked, you know, he's a boy named Sue. You know. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for that one, mate. I've seen it before and I thought, hmm, it's not that. It's something, it's something else that this picture is supposed to be intimating at. And it wasn't, it was just a boy named Sue. So, me over a bit. Got a bit more shadowy bits here I'm to worry about. Ooh, a bit wet there. Never mind. We can always add a, an extra bit when it's dried off. Bit dark, so I want some dark, bit of burnt umber, bit of blue. Because I'm wet, everything's damp, so I'm okay. Just teasing in. Just think of it as being, um, Shadow, it's a boardwalk, isn't it? Just think of it as a boardwalk. Under the boardwalk. Good thing is we've got the um, the red of those boy things that you can use in, as a reflection in the water that will warm the thing, you know, close it off a bit. Maybe a bit too wet, Dave. Never mind. It's a f find some darks, look for the windows. Find some nice shadowy bits. Mix up the colours as well. I've got stone, flesh, burnt sienna, loads of it. Drop them in. It's even that really here. There's a bright reflection of those. 
which is the red. <laughs> Not that red. That's that's really serious. That's still... It's going to be a boy here as well, I think. Use this brush nearly all the way through. I want to change it. I've got the windows on the on the boat. I'm going to add some yellow in a minute. It's a hint of yellow. We're going to put it over there because it's strong. Perhaps she's a rigger. Nah. Go on. Just wanted to make these boy things a little bit brighter. Hence the reason I was. I always add some dark onto them later to brighten them up. That's a big sigh, wasn't it? Yeah, while I've got yellow on the brush, I'm just going to warm up a few bits. Yeah, there we go. Well, well, well. Just have a play with it while it's drying off. I wanted to add some interesting. I mean, no, no, no. It's these two, I've drawn two little boats over there. I wanted to make one stand out a bit. I think the front one's favourite. A bit yellow, and the one behind can stay as a sort of a white colour. We got windows everywhere. Dark, give me a dark blue, burnt umber. Ah, too much blue. Damn you! Make the edge off. Because painting in reverse, I because I'm definitely going to want to make the top ones darker at some point. Just make it up there at the top, there at the bottom. Go there. Go on. There's got to be something there. Something there. When it's dry, I saw. Attack it with some clean water, a light colour, to try and make it when in doubt, move away. Let that dry off over there. I'll just put pencil lines where I thought the windows were and just draw around them. Burnt Sienna, same plan. Oh, I've got some there. Yep, in this building. Just needs to be a bit stronger. Ah, not stronger so much, but a different colour. A weak Burnt Sienna probably help. Do, 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 do. And this house over here has a bluey feel to it. Which is one of the reasons why I don't mix those colours up, you know, like with a brush, really. I just want, gives you the option then. You can just sort of go on the edge of it, nick a bit of the bluey colour and add it in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Happy Basil, yes, dear. 
I think, yeah, okay. Mark it in with this brush. I'm starting to think, um, old fashioned. What's it called? Ports now. Thinking harbour. I'm not really looking at the picture. So we can get a oldie. Oh, I'd like to visit that. That sort of feeling, isn't it? The roof has sort of dried off a bit now, so just using the brush on its edge. Try and intimate with some. Some tiles there. And this has got some something going on. That thing up there, I ain't got a clue what that's all about. Right. Okay, um, good luck, everybody, and uh, we'll see oh, you next week. Yeah, okay, then have okay. a nice lunch. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. 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 I've got um, just, I was going to say it's dry paint. It's even drying in my palette here. Yeah? I'm just picking it up and spreading it around, using it to put in some shadowy bits. Mm -hmm. That bit there. Shouldn't have been white, should have stayed white already. <laughs> yeah, see those boy things, they didn't stay the right colour. Told you they were wrong. Did you? Yeah. They just weren't right. Good old watercolors. You can squish it off. Put some background to that walkway thing. Not easy because you you sort of painting in the negative. Put some sticks there, some pencil lines where the posts are. So later on, I'm hoping I can just if you're worried about a colour to put in the shadow, use the flesh <laughs> or the stone because it constitutes part of the, the buildings. And the overall doodle. A bit too carried away then. Shouldn't have put that there really. I've got a plan for that. Mm -hmm. Which I'll execute right now. Apart from the fact I've been slowly putting my dirty hands all over the foreground. Stupid boy. It's, well, I said I wanted it quick and loose. So sugar in it. Hopefully, I've put enough of that blue to add at the bottom here. Yeah? Stuck my hand in that paint and that's gone over there now. I need to find a strong colour to distract from that. Bit of the old 
cobalt turquoise slap it on. Just gonna let that dry. That's a, a real nuisance that. So we've got to put a cloudy in there. Just a bit of that grey. Was it duckweed? <laughs> yeah, a little bit of duckweed. Mm -hmm. Just letting that settle down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Get a stiffer brush. It's a nice flat one here. Lift a few of those bits off that I didn't like. And add a few bits that I do. It's just a flat brush. I'm just using it as a A little bit of a scrubber there. And anywhere I want to lift it off. Still soaking wet now. My, my little um well funny how one brush takes over everything. It's either a certain colour, isn't it, or a certain brush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Today's turquoise, cobalt turquoise, that is. That like cerulean blue does a similar job. As I said, just want to make my boat stand out a bit. Right, yeah, little rascal. I've run out of the dark colour, burnt umber. Blue, but I want it not too dry, not too wet. I want to get it a bit drier just to put a bit in here. That's for you. Um, Nice. nice tune day. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's one of my favourites. Right. Well, for a bit of rigor work. Oh. Rigor as in brush. And some darks. Burn on birth. A touch of blue. It's more blue even. Tidy up time. Always the the nice bit. Add in some darks. Unless you're painting in acrylic, make it be white. It's 
start looking for good passages if you've got any. And bring them up. Right. I haven't got any orange or anything similar in this palette. But I've got this bright yellow. Orange is the colour there to make it stand out really well. Now, nah, as soon as I put the that rose madder into the yellow it sort of goes mm, down like that I'll stick with the golden yellow for now bit of rust on the boat they always have rust on them It's a lot, it's a big ask this picture in one go. <laughs> in such a short short period. Get it. All looking. In advance. <clears throat> I've got any red. But I've got that. I don't know what they are. Boxes. Something or other. Just want to pick that boat out a bit more there. I don't know what that is over there. Something going down the road. Get the rigger going, you'll be all right. Tighten it up. Add some darks. Once you get it, it's just a matter of teasing. I mean, this can take. Quite a while. Just putting dark lines. I've got my eyes all screwed up here as well. So sort of trying to squish it in with focusing with one eye. They just need to be darker, actually. Let's add a bit of blue. Extra bit of blue. Give it that variation. Just go down one side and push it across. Down there, and then across. Surprised how quick it's drying the paint on the brush and the palette. What's down here? Got to be some it. 
just a fade off. Now, these posts, I'm going to stick with the me a little bit of yellow. And one side. I think there's one there. Is there another one? Not in my picture, right? Anyway. And then add a bit of burnt sienna into the dark and put it over the other side. Should work. Well, sort of. Mm -hmm. Well, not far off. And it's soaking wet as usual. And action. <laughs> yep. More color on these tops here. It's brush. As I say, I don't want it. I don't want it to be. Well, would be nice. To say we've got a few hours to make it look like a photograph. But I don't want it to be a photograph. Just want it to be a bit of fun, really. We did most of the hard bit earlier, adding all the the different tones. Once we've got those, we should be all right. Just to you know, a bit of dark. Just add some texture. Some bones onto the dry brush. I don't know what that is over there. I think it's a reef. By Jove, Mrs. I think it is now. A bit of raw, bit of raw sienna into that little bit of yellow. Let's just add some stainy bits into there. <gasps> Maybe not. That way, how you it's all how you which angle you brush goes, isn't it? But if you go upright, that to the left, and just add a little bit of you know, a bit of clean water, just try and let it all fizzle itself down, do some work. Down, down, down. That's, uh, that's my latest hit. <laughs> Stupid boy. Hopefully, you can get the gist from what I'm on about. 
but don't get bogged down with the try and do it if you do it if you try and do it quicker you'll have that hopefully that feel of spontaneity not contrived studio spent three days painting it which is what we don't want Well, he was there another day. That's way my voice straight, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I was thinking about Weymouth the other day. Well, obviously this was on my mind. It was to do with McDonald's. And I was thinking, I've never been in McDonald's. But I've got a funny feeling. Well, more than a feeling. I think it's genuine we did i went to weymouth one summer a few years back with phil pop and the kids and i'm sure everybody went in mcdonald's because they that was the only place they could go in and get a quick snack for one oh, i think one of the kids wanted to go to the loo or something so it ended up somebody buying something can't I have to ask Mel, but I can't rec recollect if I actually ate anything. Disappointed if I did. Right, I'm gonna succumb to the to my um urge and get the other paints in. Only because it's got a flipping orange in it. And I want some orange. I can't get that bright orange from my my palette. It's a uh, I just think it's synonymous with the sea isn't it orange boys orange um life suit uh jackets everything's orange mm -hmm. so this has got <clears throat> orange in it so it's going on going into my painting and it is a complementary to the blue as well so it'll give you a a sort of a reflective colour. Put a bit there, I think. This is a brightness. Yeah, you came down to see what you were doing. Doom, doom, doom. There's one bit that's. It needs bringing out a bit, I think. How am I off for time? Is it really late? Or... It's nearly quarter past twelve. Yeah, I'm. I'm getting to that stage where I'm thinking. Mm, dinner time. <laughs> I know. It's about to... <laughs> My stomach keeps rumbling. <laughs> Nobody else can have a go now. Mm. But you can. I think I've, I've set the the scene, the targets there. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if I'll get time to do it this week because myself and Anne and Gordon are all going away for the weekend camping. So, oh, um, well, caravans are my time. Caravans, okay then. <laughs> not intense. Where are you going? Somewhere nice. Not very far away. We're in Forest. All right. Yeah, so a rally we're going to. Like a metal detector. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wareham. Wareham is huge. In in Anglo-Saxon times, Wareham mm -hmm. was really prominent. Well, it was a an area, you know, an important area. So there's loads of stuff under the ground there that you need to dig up for us. 
<laughs> okay. And they, they'd like us to dig up their field. No, I don't think they would, Anne. It's very nice short grass, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, Dave sent you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they said it was all right. <laughs> Right. We're going to say cheerio to our friends who are emigrating to Australia. Oh. So that'd be sort of a bittersweet, really. Yeah. All I can say about this picture is try not to get too scared of it. You know, just Take a bit of, get your, right, if you make a mistake like that, just ignore it, move on. <laughs> Doesn't matter, but the, the, the nice colour, if you've got, if you can mix up that stone colour or sand and the flesh, I mean, they're the two important ones. Because you can just stick them anywhere and it'll buff up the whole thing and put shadow in it. And you put a little bit of it on the paper and then clean water. And then white buildings become off white mm. and things like that. It's actually pale blue, isn't it? That big one. I'm not it's, sure. Yeah, I've never been like there. It. Is it? Oh, gosh. If you blow the picture up, yeah. And the yeah. other one looks a bit creamy. Extension on it, isn't it? Mm. A pub of in. I knew this would be a long, a big ask to do this in one go. And there's a little bit there that's... Niggling. That looks like scaffolding up on that. It you? is, yeah. yeah. I, I, so when I was looking at it, I was thinking, why have they put a garden shed on a roof? Oh, <laughs> that's what it looked like to me. It was a garden shed. Mm. But, yeah. Well, I think I'm not too unhappy with that. I can spend... A little bit of time lifting it off if I decide to, of course. Well, I've done most of it with this brush and the little, well, the little bit of rigor work every now and then, just for fun. And uh, God bless May Hall and Sailing. Oh. I think the um, adding the darks in helps a lot. Uh, if I had a bit more time, I'd put a couple of figures here as well. You know, just mm. walking across the street. I think that'd be a good, good thing too, but it's so wet. If I try it now, it'll just ruin it. It'll go all over the place. But just using the rigor and a bit of could use a dry bit of dry brush. So apply that. Stick your brush in and then scrub it on the board and easy enough. Hold it at an angle. Just put in some little rivulet things. Well this is uh Got a rough surface, well, a not surface, so it will give that impression of you know it'll go up and over the bumps. Mm. When this is dry, I'll do a bit over here as well, even over. Just if you're in doubt about it, what cut um, doing that? Use the flesh tone. A bit much on there but use that because it won't spoil it mm. it will just it'll add light um 
open a lot over this side you'll see what i mean it'll add light to the picture and not take it away whereas if you use the darks and mm. and spoil it but if you've got that that um mocha color remember i bought that for um mm. doing portraits for um i think it was mohammed ali or something like we were doing a a guy of colour, or and I thought, hmm, that'll give it a good base. But that's a nice colour to play with. Funny how you rediscover these things as you do it. But you can put that anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a flesh tone. It's it's a mm. human. It's a fleshy. Um, your brain likes flesh. Ooh, no, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, you know, it's so used to it. It like skin tones. What's that bit of orange? Hang on, I need a bit of orange. You've certainly given us another challenge, David. Yes. Well, I'm confident that you know, you know, that we'll be able to do it. But you could see. I've rushed it, but I've enjoyed it. A little bit of orange goes a long, long way. I think that's the part, the lesson that's coming back from this. I need, but then again, it's it's not a colour that I use enough. I don't think, but you get the drift. Mm. Oh, oh my gosh, let me jump away. <laughs> one, of, one of the things you're going to have to watch out for is these posts, these white bits as a watercolour. You're going to have to paint in the negative, try and bring them up. Yeah, as it happens, I'm quite pleased with this now. It's not unpleasant. I think I'll. Uh, Oh, not quite. Uh, I think you've done very well for such a short time. Well, I just add a few darks, a few more darks here and there. A bit tidying up here and there. It's a big ask. It's a big picture. Mm. And I think. Yeah, I will do it, but it won't be in time for Tuesday. I'll do it at some point. Me a little bit of oh, it's like. Yeah, it's all right. Mm. How much? Very seasidey. <laughs> That's lovely. Yeah, well, if you use cerulean blue or um, something like that, that type of blue, uh, if you've got the horizon blue, is brilliant, but it, it'll work. That's what I wanted it to be. Not impression, not unlike an impressionistic, but it's if you, my point is, if you um, if you do it quickly and force yourself to do it, it will come out that way. <laughs> we shall see. Mm. Absolutely, it's <laughs> nice. I think that looks all right to me. Mm. Yes. Very good. And on the rough paper as well. I don't know. I could criticise it, but <laughs> I'd like to do it in public. <laughs> oh. oh, God. No, I think it'd Before be... I disappear, I'll just say um, um, thanks again, Joyce, for those canvases. They're really, oh, that's so really good. Look, look big ones. I have to find something I really, really want to do to do it that big. <laughs> mm, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And um, and I think you're settling very well to your new home. It's very nice. Thank you. Yes, we're we're getting there. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, takes time, just... doesn't it? Oh certainly. my goodness, it, it certainly does. Yeah. Um, 
no early lunch today i'm sorry no oh. i'm just waiting for leo to go mad to tell me kathy's all right she's coming over oh. Oh. yeah so she's obviously still busting along somewhere <laughs> oh are you going out as well or are you doing dinner at no, home no, she's coming here she's coming here for a change wow so, yeah that'd be nice I, tour for us. I will thank you i will indeed right i'm going to go and get some something to eat <laughs> yes, yes me too <laughs> <laughs> yeah thanks very much dave and yeah. yes, thank you. You again on Tuesday. Forward to the 23rd. Try to know quicker, yeah. where it goes. Yeah, it is. You know, you get to sort of Friday, you think, cracking. It's that one, yeah, I know. It's <laughs> frightening, really, isn't it? How fast the time's going. It certainly is. Okay, yeah. then. Well, I'm going to hop off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I will. Time. See you well, next week. Yes. Yeah. Bye then. Bye. 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 Is my story it's sad but true about a girl that I once knew. She took my love, then ran around with every single. Thank you.